Falcons are trying to do something that no Atlanta team has ever done. That's win three games at the start of a season. And the 49ers, having won last week, are trying to keep it going. Hello, everybody. I'm Lindsey Nelson with George Allen. And George, Bartkowski's going to wear a flak jacket. Tell me about a flak jacket. Well, this is a flak jacket. It fits around the rib cage, protects that area, weighs about uh, a pound or less. It's an inch in thickness. However, it inhibits the movement of a quarterback. My quarterbacks never wanted to wear one. It could not only bother your passing, but your ball handling as well. Now, Bartkowski has used one in a preseason game, so that helps. All right, now, on the other hand, Montana leads the conference in passing. What does that mean? Well, Montana throws an underneath pass, a possession type of pass. The Falcons' defense is strong because of their active linebackers. I look for Montana to try to go deep on the corners on either Kenny Johnson or Butler. Atlanta has won the toss and will receive. So Matt Parr will kick it off. Reggie Smith is center deep. Supernat will receive it. And here comes the kickoff. Matt Parr puts it up. It's into the end zone. Taken at the goal line five. Under the 10-50. Reggie Smith returning 25 gets up to the 28-yard line. So the return by Reggie Smith, five feet, six inches tall. And the Atlanta Falcons start first and ten at their own 28-yard line. They're wearing the home whites. Here's the backfield. Bartkowski with the black jacket. Jenkins a big threat. Van Note anchors that line. Steve Bartkowski, Wallace Francis in motion across. David on the ground to Lynn Kane on the first play, just short of the 30-yard line. About to Keena Turner from his linebacker spot made the tackle. Well, you know, the thing here with Bartkowski, they have a good enough running game and an offensive line that he doesn't have to throw that much to be effective. If they had only one threat through the air, he had to throw to win. That would put a lot of pressure on him. But they have a fine running game and can control the ball that way. William Andrews and Lynn Kane, the running backs, they're split for Borkowski. Motion outside, that's Miller, tight end. Quick pitch to Andrews, his first carry of the day. And he moves it. Scramble is on there. Well, here's a pitch to Andrews, 31. Andrews has enough speed to get outside. He has good blocking. Now, he fumbles that ball. Somebody hit him at the elbow, and he lost it. Lynn the, Kane got it. Falcons kept it. So it is first and 10, and they have the ball at the 42-yard line. They play three down linemen. Archie Reese anchors at the nose tackle. Linebacking core, Jack Reynolds is the veteran there. There's the deep man. Hicks is the only veteran. Bartkowski back to throw. Throws a screen right. Taken by Andrews. 45. Across the 50-yard line. And he goes out of bounds at the 45-yard line of the 49ers. Dan Buns ran him out. Good blocking. I like his body lean and, and knee action. He's always going forward. And Junior Miller. Quick pitch to Andrews. Got the first down, and it's at the 32-yard line. Well, Willie Harper, linebacker, made the tackle for the 49ers, along with Keena Turner. Well, Lindsey, they're doing just what, what I said. They're running that football, and that's smart. Bartkowski will gain confidence as the game goes along. He can't help but feel a little bit uncomfortable wearing that flag jacket. It's, it's cumbersome, but as long as you can run the football like this, you can always set up the pass. I get Alfred Jackson. Big play Jackson in there now. Running back in an eye. That's Jackson in motion across. Quick pitch. Ben Kane. Fumbles! Ball got away from Kane. The scramble inside the 30-yard line. Retained by the Atlanta Falcons. Well, that's, that's a tough break for the uh, 49ers. They forced two fumbles. Lost the ball. Kane's trying to go wide. Now somebody hits the ball or hits his elbow. 59, Harper. Mike Ken recovers. Second down, seven yards to go. 
Pick up a three on the play. Falcons have the ball at the 29-yard line of the 49ers here early in the first quarter. Miller's in a wide right. Bartowski. And it is taken into the end zone. Touchdown. Jackson for the touchdown. Alfred Jackson. 29-yard touchdown pass from Bartowski to Jackson. Well, beautiful execution on this play. Good protection. The ball's thrown perfectly. Right in stride. Here it is from ground level again. Alfred Jackson, 85. Bartkowski going back, watching him all the way. Perfectly thrown. Right between the defenders. Luckhurst, the left footer, and it's good. Luckhurst from the University of California. And so now... They're on the scoreboard, these hometown Atlanta Falcons, and the clock shows 11 minutes, 21 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. Mick Luckhurst will kick it off now, and deep, Ronnie Lott, number 42, Mike Wilson, number 85. Luckhurst beat out Tim Rossetti for the kicking spot on the roster. There's the scoring drive. They used up 339 to get into the end zone. Luckhurst was a rugby player in England. University of California and Berkeley. Sails this one down, a knuckleball. It goes into the end zone. It'll be a touchback, but in play first and ten at the 20-yard line. Mike Wilson came up, let it float by him. Lot was back there. They decided not to run it out. It is first and ten at the 20-yard line. Well, the defense likes a guy like Luckhurst. What a plus it is to have him kick that ball into the end zone like he did last week against the Packers. In fact, he kicked it out of the end zone, Lindsay. And he had it into the end zone six times. Here's the backfield. Patton and Cooper are the setbacks. There's the offensive line. Charlie Young's the tight end. A good play to open up with against this defense is a screen. Solomon and Wilson across. Montana. He throws it to Clark. Right, Clark. Up to the 35-yard line. Well, they had a pretty good screen set on the yes. left side and went to the deep man. That, that's right. That was a, an option screen where Clark hooks at about 10, 12 yards. And if he's covered, he dumps it off to the, the flaring back. Buddy Curry, the linebacker, made the tackle. Three down linemen also for the Atlanta Falcons. Don Smith, the nose tackle. Fine linebacking crew. Outstanding. And the deep backs. Bobby Butler is the rookie on the left corner out of Florida State. Motion to the outside. Patton. Give it to Cooper. Well, Cooper at the 42. Kuykendall made the tackle. Well, Lindsay, what they're doing, their, their first play was an option screen, and their second play was a quick draw to the fullback. So they're using their counters for the pass rush which is good football for the 49ers offense. They're a passing team, screens and draws, cuts down the rush. And a three on that last play, so it is at the 38-yard line. Second and seven at the 38. This Pat, Ricky Pat. It'll be marked at about the 43-yard line for five, making it third down at about two yards to go. Ricky Ricardo Pat. Jeff Merrill came in to make the tackle. Well, that's a, that's a sweep to the strong side, and that's good football. That's one of the things the 49ers have to do today is they have to be able to run the football enough to keep the clock going, give Montana time to throw, take a little pressure off that offensive line. Joe Montana brings him up. He was the Notre Dame quarterback in the national championship here, 77. Double tight end. Ryan Peets in there with Charlie Young. Quick pitch taken out by Patton. He has trouble getting control. He couldn't get control of the ball. Five more made the tackle. That'll bring on the punting unit. Well, that's a great play by Pride Moore. He read the play. One of the things Pride Moore does, he has a great instinct for reading the pass and reading the run. He's watching his keys. Whatever his key is, pertaining to the coverage they're in. And he's tough. He's the type of football player that you like to have in the secondary. Jim Miller is last in the conference in punting. He's averaged 36.4. He's the barefoot boy from Ole Miss. Super nut. Five feet, four inches tall. Reggie Smith lets it go, and this one goes into the end zone, across the end line. Touchback, first and ten at the 20-yard line. 
Well, Bill Walsh was, was glad to see that because Miller has been kicking line drives, and that time he got his foot into it, and that's what you have to have to help your defense to get in field position. Bill Walsh, in his third year as head coach of the San Francisco 49ers, was in the league as an assistant coach for a number of years, was head coach at Stanford. First and ten now for Atlanta. Now comes to the ball at the own 20. Bartkowski brings him up in an eye formation. Kane and Andrews in the eye. Now they split him out. Kane to the left side. Andrews up to a wing right. Kane on the pitch. The sweep. Well, he's trying to get to the stick. Penalty marker is thrown. Williamson made the tackle. Looks like it was, Lindsay, it might have been a late hit. Personal foul against the 49ers. Gene Barth, the referee. Well, let's see if we can pick it up from ground level. It's a pitch outside. Kane's hit here. Well, I really don't see it. Number 27 defense. Personal foul, late hit out of bounds, first down. Carlton Williamson, who played his high school football right here in Atlanta at Brown High before he went to Pittsburgh and then came to the 49ers, where he is the strong safety. It is first down and 10 to go. It looked, Lindsay, like he hit him right in the sidelines from our monitor. Junior Miller to the right side. Jack Reynolds came in to make the tackle on Andrews. Jack Reynolds, the veteran, played his college football at the University of Tennessee. Well, Jack's going to be a big plus for the 49ers defense. This is where they have to improve to improve their record. They have to uh, take the football away and give that offense field position. And Jack's a leader. He's like an assistant coach on the field. Second and six on the 46. Lynn Kane flanked to the right side. A lone setback. That's Andrews. Wallace Francis part of the left side. Bartkowski just pops it out there to Kane. Carlton Williamson covering out there made the stop. Picked up a yard or so. Well, the type of passes that Bartkowski has thrown today are the safe passes. He's thrown the screen, a quick pass, and he's setting everything up with a running game. Good football, good offensive football. Bartkowski in the huddle. Third down. Two yards to go. The ball's at the 48-yard line. Kane has come off. Alfred Jackson's come in. Three wide receivers. Andrews the lone setback. Jackson's in a wide right. He's the man who caught the touchdown pass earlier. Bartkowski. Got the first and ten at the 44-yard line. Carlton Williams again on the tackle with Keena Turner. Well, well, you know, Lindsay, this type of pass, they have one remaining back, so you play that formation as a pass. Junior Miller comes underneath. It's a safe pass. Linebackers are giving ground, gaining depth. It's like a running play to pick up two or three yards. And with a big target like Miller, it's a very fine play. Bartkowski, four for four, 52 yards and one touchdown in the air. Reese has come out. Pete Kugler is in there now at the nose tackle for the 49ers. They try the draw play to Andrews. This time the 49er defense stacks him up for a loss of a foot or so. Jack Reynolds, Hacksaw was there. Second and 11. You know, last week the Falcons started so slowly they didn't get on the board until the fourth quarter. Now they scored the first time they got the ball. Second 11, and they're sending Alfred Jackson to the right side. Or rather, Alfred Jenkins to the right side. Bartkowski. Little screen to Andrew. 40 35. He goes out of bounds for the first down. Boy. It is near the 30 yard line. Right hit. Bounced him out. Well, let, here it is. Tremendous call, second down and 10, with your quarterback playing with that flag jacket. Do things that are safe and sound. Screen pass. Give it to your best back. Look how that guy runs. Boy, I love to see him play football. Reese is back in there at the nose tackle. Now Kugler's gone out. 
for the 49ers. As the Atlanta Falcons continue to roll here, Pillars is in and places Stuckey now defensively at the left tackle for the 49ers. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Bartkowski has the ball. Going to the corner. Well, incomplete. Now that's something interesting, Lindsay. That's the first long pass he threw, and the ball hung. The ball fluttered. He had the defender beaten. Wright was beaten, almost intercepted. The ball was short, so it could be the, the long pass, the corner pass, might bother him today. That's the first long pass he's thrown. They've picked up seven first downs already, running the ball, throwing short possession type passes. Tended receiver down there with Wallace Francis. It's second and 10 at the 30 yard line. Three wide receivers. Jackson's in there. Bartkowski on the sideline. Jackson, the intended receiver, and covering was Eric Wright on the right corner, the rookie from Missouri. Bartkowski well, got hit that time. There was a delivery sack. I'm sure the 49ers are going to dog him and put the pressure on him. He was hit after he threw the ball. Third down, 10 yards to go. Five minutes, 23 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Markowski going long and incomplete. Well, he, it looked like he overthrew him, but what happened? He did overthrow him. What, what happened is the receiver was jammed. That slowed him down. At, they just made it seem like the pass was way off target. It's Jackson, because, the intended receiver. Because Jackson was jammed. Nick Luckhurst is in to attempt the field goal now. John James is in to hold for it. This will be a 47-yard attempt. Eric Sanders makes the snap to the left footer. And the 47-yard is good. Hurt from 47 yards out. Well, that's the only thing that I'd be concerned about with this guy is his field goals. He's got the powerful leg kicking off. He's going to be effective. But it's to, to make the field goals, especially the short ones, the ones you should make. They move 50 yards in 10 plays, and Mick Luckers will kick it off now. He's got Ronnie Lott and Mike Wilson deep for the 49ers. The left footer. End over end. Lott at the three-yard line to the five. Lott to the 10 to the 15 to the 20. Fumbles. Recovered by the Atlanta Falcons. It's strong. Ray Strong. Number 25, Ray Strong recovered the fumble. Well, Ray Strong is one of their best special team players. This, this is one time. Here comes Strong, 25. Watch him. He's on the ball club because of his special team ability. The kick wasn't as long as usual. Good hit. The ball bounces right too strong. Just happened to be there. So now it's first and 10 at the 21-yard line for the Falcons. They lead 10-0. They're still in the first quarter. Dan and Andrews for Bartkowski. Jenkins incomplete. Alfred Jenkins. Ronnie Lott covering on that corner. Well, Jenkins, he, a little man. He's 5'9". Looks as though he might have to be out there with a note from his mother, but he's a great pass receiver. He sure is, Lindsay. Uh, he was open on that. The ball was thrown a little bit long overthrown and again the ball tailed on that corner route now Bartkowski has a strong arm usually that that type of pass he he can gun it in there second down 10 yards to go at the 21 Miller is put to the right side Wallace Francis is on the slot left later Andrews and 
He moves it in to the 18-yard line. He picked up three on the play before Lawrence Pillars brought him down. Third and seven. Well, that was a good call. A draw on second down and ten. Last week at Green Bay, the Atlanta Falcons were a little shocked when the Green Bay Packers went out to a 17-0 lead at the end of the third quarter. And then they came roaring back and did get 31 points and won it. But they came out here this afternoon. Right. Determined that they were going to start from the opening kickoff, and they have. They've dominated play here in the first quarter. 49ers came in with their nickel defense, took out Reynolds, Harper, and Bunce. Miller to the left side, Jenkins to the right side, Francis in the slot right. High count for Bartkowski. He's got it. Swings it out on a stand of Kane. Kane sidesteps the tackle. 15. 10. And goes in for a touchdown. He just kept wow. coming. And he took it in for an 18-yard touchdown run. That's a great 18-yard run. A great 18-yard run. Maybe we can see it again. He dumps it off to King behind the line of scrimmage, takes the late. For Luckhurst will kick off now. Lott and Wilson are deep for the 49ers. 17 nothing with 3.57 left to play in the first quarter. Luckhurst, the man who frequently puts the ball in the end zone. Well, you know, Lindsay, if, if anyone questioned Bartkowski, six for 10 for 84 yards and two touchdowns already. He may wear a flag jacket the rest of his life. End over end. Lots waiting. One yard line. On a lot to the five, to the 10, to the 15, and across the 20 yard line. So now the 49ers start first and 10 at their own 21. Well, you know, this is exactly what the 49ers didn't want to happen to get behind like this early because the 49ers pass first and run second. You want to stay close to them, stay even with them early in the ball game so Montana doesn't have so much pressure on them to put that ball in the air. But this is a test of their poise and character and to see how far they've come, see how far they've improved. Clark to the left side, Freddie Solomon to the right side. Montana on first down. Intended for Clark, but it's intercepted at the 40-yard line. And it is being returned. Taken by Joel Williams. Joel Williams intercepted and returned. He ran a fumble in for a touchdown at Green Bay last week. Again, it is the Atlanta Falcons first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Well, this is like a, a tip dr drill in practice, a deflected ball. The ball's a little bit high, and it's tipped, deflected right here. Joel Williams getting depth and hustling back there. He's a big play linebacker. And he was in the right spot at the right time. On the run back, Fred Quillen. The San Francisco center is injured, and he's on down on the field. And getting attention from the training staff. Fred Quillen, the center. They get him up now. And he'll be assisted across to the far side of the field. Well, everything has gone wrong for the 49ers in this first quarter. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Atlanta Falcons and the National Football League is prohibited. It'll be first down 10 yards to go for the Falcons. They have the ball at the San Francisco 16-yard line. You know, Lindsay, this is where leadership, a guy like Reynolds can get them together. Hey, let's play our game. Don't panic. Artkowski brings him up in an eye formation. Francis in motion across. Quick pitch to Lynn Kane. He got to the 13-yard line before Carlton Williamson came in to make the tackle. You know, uh, Lindsey, Kane is not a spectacular football player, but that 18-yard run he made was beautiful. He did that on his own. He was hit on the line of scrimmage, and he was hit after two or three yards. A great run. In college at Southern Cal, Kane was a great deal of the time a blocking back for Charles White. Well, these, these two guys really complement each other. They're Don't both they? good blockers, good receivers, unselfish football players. Bartkowski. 
Well, they're going to sort of hang it up. Out of bounds, so you can see. Wally Smith is in a little contact along the sideline with Ronnie Lott. I tell you what, Ronnie Lott made a great play, and that's perfectly legal. Legal. Ronnie Lott axed or jammed Wallace Francis took him out of the play completely. He did that within the five-yard radius. That was a beautiful jam. That's the way you teach your defensive corners to play. That was a great play by Ronnie Lott. Albert Jackson comes in now. Lynn Kane comes out. Three wide receivers. Third down and seven yards to go at the 13. Arkowski guns it. Francis! Touchdown! Penalty marker. There is a marker holding, and I think it's against Atlanta. Yeah, there's two flags. Two flags down. One of them is holding Atlanta. Preliminary signal given by Gene Barth, the referee. Now the 49ers blew a coverage. The Falcons used motion. 66 offense, holding, still third down. Warren Bryant. Lost the 10 there, makes it third and 17. Well, here it is. Looks like he's holding Stucky right there. Bryant holding Stucky, yeah. No question about it. Almost a takedown. Ball's on the 23-yard line. Three wide receivers still in there. And who's the lone setback for Bartkowski? Swings it out to Andrew. 20. 16-yard line. Jack Reynolds on the deck, along with Dan Bunch. Now, the 49ers defense did something I believe in. Uh, Studley sent his regular personnel back in. Sometimes you can get too smart with that nickel, and they give you some formations and motion and change of strength. Confuse you. Luckhurst is in to attempt another field goal. James is in to hold for him. Now, Lindsay, this is the type of kick that a rookie kicker has to make. It's more important to make these chip shots than it is the 51 yard. 33 yarder. No good. It's wide. It is wide to the right. And well, so the ball goes over at the 20 yard line. You remember that's what I mentioned last week. He missed a, a short one. That's the important thing. Make the kicks that really count. Now, you like the long ones also. They'll take everything. But you've got to make these because that's a, a sure three points. Now, that's a big break for the 49ers. They will start at their own 20-yard line. We have 1 minute 56 seconds left in the first quarter. Earl Cooper, Ricky Patton on the setbacks. And there for Joe Montana. Motion across. Solomon. Montana going long to Clark, and why Clark can't get it. Uh, Clark, was, Clark was open by three yards. Montana overthrew him, but that type of pass, you need a little more speed to get deep. It'll be second down and 10 yards to go for the 49ers at their own 20-yard line. Montana breaks the huddle, sends Clark to the left side. Double over there with Freddie Solomon. Patton and Cooper are the setbacks. Montana. Green. Cooper. 30-yard line. And about the 31. Tom Pridemore made the tackle. Oh, there's a flag. Personal foul against the Atlanta Falcons. Well, that was a good call. Montana's going to have to probably throw 50. Five passes today at the rate he's going. Gene Barth, referee. Personal foul, number 37 defense, unnecessary roughness. Kenny Johnson on the right corner. First and 10 now at the 46-yard line. 49ers ball in their own territory. Solomon to the right side. It's 
is Patton. Ricky Patton looking for Swanner to turn, and there was none. Run out by Buddy Curry, the linebacker. Well, that's, that's what would help Montana and help their offense. We mentioned earlier, they could run the football some. Now, Montana gets a signal from Benjamin, number seven on the sidelines. They call all their plays. Benjamin singles, singles Montana. Sam White's up above in the press box, calls some of the plays. Second down play coming here. Montana. And his tight end. Taken by Charlie Young. The veteran tight end with a grab. And carried it down to the 27-yard line. Please work stopping. Well, Charlie Young ran a seam pattern. Montana threw a strike. Here it is. Charlie Young's a fine receiver. Right in there, wide open. Glace, Glacebrook covering him man for man. So now it's the 49ers driving, trying to get on the scoreboard. Less than a minute to play in the first quarter. Bring on an eye formation. Cooper ahead of Patton. Cooper. Got it to the 20-yard line. He got six. It'll be second down and four yards to go. Tom Pridemore made the duck. Now, that was a good call. They they have to be able to run that football on first down. When you're, when you're behind, especially this early 17 to nothing, you can't keep throwing the ball, throwing the ball, because you're going to get sacked. You're going to be intercepted. Second down, four yards to go. Clark to the left side, Solomon to the right side. Cooper got the first down. First and 10, just inside the 15-yard line. Well, this is a, a very important drive for the 49ers. If they could go down and put seven on the, on the board, it would give them a big lift. There's the gun sounding the end of the period. So they bring it up to the other end of the field. And at the end of the first quarter here at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, it is the Atlanta Falcons 17, San Francisco 49 is nothing. A full house in Atlanta. This is Lindsey Nelson with George Allen as we start playing the second quarter. Atlanta leading 17 nothing. Easily is in there along with Patton now at the running backs for the 49 is first and 10 at the Atlanta 14 yard line. Solomon in motion across. Montana. He is out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Glazebrook on the tackle on Solomon. Well, that's that possession-type passing game, which I think the Falcons play so well because their linebackers are such good athletes. Now, that was a very important call, that first and 10 right there. Montana has been mixing his calls very good on first and 10, runs and passes. And they have to do that against this good Falcon defense. Got a yard on that pass play, second and nine. Cooper's back in there with Paul Hofer. Hofer's in there now. This is complete to Clark, but he's dragged out at about the 11-yard line. Joel Williams on the tackle. Well, Hofer ran a sky pattern, cleared, cleared out for Clark to come underneath and running out. Paul Hofer, number 36, who about a year ago tore up a knee, underwent knee surgery, and has been battling back ever since. It was in the sixth game last year that he injured the knee. Hofer and Walt easily are the setbacks in there now, third and seven at the 11-yard line. Montana, over the middle, and it is a touchdown for the 49ers. Taken in by Charlie Young, the tight end. And the 49ers are on the board early in the second quarter. Charlie Young ran that play perfectly. He went in motion. He he hesitated. It's a check down to the to the tight end. Watch Now watch Charlie Young. Delay. The defense lost him. Beautiful execution by Montana and Charlie Young. Matt Farr will attempt a conversion. Montana holding for him. Barr's boot is good. So now, the San Francisco 49ers are on the scoreboard. 
We have 13 minutes, 32 seconds remaining to be played in the second quarter. Here it is. Ground level, Charlie Young checking down. Montana wanted him all the way. Everybody else clears the defense out, goes into the end zone, opens it up for your tight end. Perfect play. They move 80 yards in nine plays for the touchdown, and now it'll be Matt Barr kicking off. You know, Lindsey, what makes that tough on the defense, you think Charlie Young is staying in the backfield to block, and all at once he checks down. Reggie Smith is deep. Super in that five yards deep in the end zone. Goal line five. He's out to the 10. Bounces off, comes to the left side of the 50. Super in that out of bounds as he crossed the 20 yard line. He just keeps coming. Williamson ran him out. Well, you know, that, that return shows his balance. He was hit, but he takes such short steps, he's always on balance, and he bounces to the outside. He doesn't have great speed, but he has quickness, and he's very elusive, and he has good balance. I thought his return was the, the big play of the game. That turned the game around when he returned that punt to the two-yard line last week against the Packers. Indeed, I think it did. Now the question is, can the 49ers defense hold Atlanta here and get the ball back to see what they can do to get back into this ball game. It's 17-7 to 7 in the second quarter. Gaines. Well, they marked at about the 25. You know, Lindsay, if, if, you, if you set a game plan for your quarterback coming off of an injury like Bartkowski is, it couldn't be any better. He's been able to run. He has his screens going, his draws. And he's had good field position because of fumbles and interceptions. So it's a perfect setting for Steve Bartkowski so far. Second and seven at the 25-yard line. Wallace Francis in the wide right. Bartkowski. Francis. Ronnie Lott on that corner. Well, he had, the 35. Yeah, he had good protection, Lindsay. Plenty of time to throw, and what they're doing is going one-on-one -on -one in those rookie corners. So the 49ers are going to have to help their, their corners if they continue that. They're going to have to go to some form of a double coverage, change their coverages. Francis has come off, and Alfred Jackson has replaced him. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Thank you, pardon, 36-yard line. Junior Miller incomplete. Carlton Williamson covering. Second and 10 at the 36. Well, the ball was thrown behind him. Now, so far, Lindsay, the 49er defense has not pressured Bartkowski at all with the three man rush or the four man rush. They may have to come in with some dogs. They may have to send those linebackers and come in with five, six, seven men to put some pressure on them. Pete Kugler is coming up the nose tackle now. Archie Reese has gone off. Wallace Francis is back in. Jackson's come off. Second and ten at the 36-yard line. Junior Miller on the wide right. Markowski. Complete. Wallace Francis at the 50. Carlton Williamson got him down. Well, there's a flag on the play, and, and the 49ers did dog that time, Lindsay. They came in with, with two linebackers. And Lee is against the Atlanta Falcons. Gene Barth looks for the line of scrimmage, which was the 36. Ronnie Lott missed a tackle on that. Down to the 21-yard line. Personal foul, illegal shot block. Number 57 offense. Jeff Van Note. Veteran center Jeff Van Note with an illegal shot block. And, you know, speaking of Jeff Van Note, he injured his ribs uh, the week before, and he's playing with a black vest also. It is second and 25 at the 21 yard line.
Rajkowski. And he's set. Dwayne Board made the tackle. Well, they, I mentioned this before. They they missed Dwayne Board. Last year he was out with an injury. He gives them the pass rush. Now watch him. He used a, an arm over, beat his man. Rajkowski had no chance on that. Nice move by Dwayne Board. Brought his right arm up and over the blocker. It's third and 37 at the nine yard line. Jenkins in the wide left. Kane. And Kane to the 14. Beat Kugler in to make the tackle, and here comes the punting unit. As the 49ers defense is held here, and the punting unit comes on to give up the ball for Atlanta. Well, you know, Lindsay, the complexion has changed here. The, the 49ers won 80 yards and nine plays to score. Now their defense has taken over. They should have pretty good field position after this punt. John James back to do the kicking. Freddie Solomon and Dwight Hicks have dropped back to field it for the 49ers. From the goal line, James sets up. Taking it to 45 by uh, Solomon, and he gets to the 40. So they'll go first and 10, 49ers at the 40, a punt of 33 yards returned eight. And when play is resumed, we'll have 11 minutes, two seconds remaining to be played as you see Bill Walsh along the sideline. Lehman Bennett's in his fifth year at head coach of the Falcons. He was assistant in the NFL for seven years before that. Ladies College Football at the University of Kentucky. Now the 49ers have it first and 10 at the Atlanta 40-yard line. Big series here for the 49ers. Mike White. Clark and Mike Wilson are wide receivers. That's Wilson in motion across. Got a delay, and it's Cooper Carey. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Got well, to about the 35. Well, they did something that uh, maybe the... Falcon defense didn't expect they ran the football. Falcons adjusted pretty well. The reason this series is so big for the 49ers, they gave up 17 quick points. Now, if they can even get a field goal out of this, they're right back in the ball game. If they get a touchdown, it's a new ball game. An officials time out for an injury here. It's a Falcon injury. Joel Williams, linebacker. So Joel Williams comes off. Next Sunday, the Atlanta Falcons and the Cleveland Browns. Ryan Seif and the explosive offense of the Cleveland Browns against Steve Bartkowski and these Atlanta Falcons. Check your local listings. Second on six yards to go. 49ers ball at the Atlanta 36-yard line. Solomon and Clark are the wide receivers. Put it on the ground again. Yeah. Ricky Patton carried. They're, they're doing what we talked about early in the show is trying to establish that running game and, and not letting Montana have to throw 55 passes to, to win the ball game. Now, third down and two yards to go. You've got two downs, Lindsay, in this area to make the first down. Two downs to make to make one yard. They run a double tight end, Charlie Young and Brian Peets. White Clark has gone off. Patton. Well, he got close. He got very close. He might have picked it up. They spotted where I think they're going to spot it. It is. Well, the Falcons read this play perfectly, but it was just good blocking at the point of attack. Good, good leg drive. Kept going, picking up the first down. First and ten at the thirty-yard line. Lyman White on the tackle. Nine minutes, 28 seconds left to play in the first half. Atlanta 17, San Francisco 7. Double tight end still. Patton in motion to the outside left. Joe Montana going on to Freddie Solomon in the end zone. Incomplete. Bobby Butler, the rookie cornerback from Florida State. Well, that's what I thought they would do the last series, is go, is, is go deep one-on-one -on, -one on Butler. And that's what they did now. Here's 
There's a one-on-one, -on -one, Solomon and Butler. Now, the ball, Solomon hasn't beaten. The ball's a little bit underthrown. See that? Butler came in and has it intercepted. Solomon knocks it loose, which is a good play by the, the receiver. Second down and 10 yards to go. Ball at the 30-yard line. Wilson's in a slot left. Mike Clark in a wide left. Montana. Well, he expected his tight end to turn outside. Charlie Young, and he did. Bobby Butler covered. Third and ten. Nine oh six remaining in the first half. Joe Montana, six for ten, sixty-seven yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Mike Wilson's come off. Freddie Solomon is in there now, the wide receiver. Paul Hofer's come in. Hofer's an excellent receiver. They're going to use him. He hasn't been hit yet. He hasn't had contact since that's that knee surgery. They figured the time has just about come when they've got to find out about Hofer, whether or not he's going to be able to play. Cooper in motion outside right. And the pass to Cooper. Cooper can't get it. Yeah. Fourth and ten. They came in with a blitz. And Montana got racked up. He had to throw the ball before he wanted it. Uh, Cooper didn't see the ball. Montana had to put it up or get sacked. Matt Barr's come in to attempt a field goal now. Ray Wershing was injured, actually in the warm-ups before the season's opener in Detroit, and he's on the injured reserve, so they picked up Matt Barr. Lindsay, his range is about 40 or 45 yards. It's about a 47-yarder here. Matt Barr, it's good. Good. It is good. Three more points on the board for the 49ers to make it 17-10. So, with eight minutes, 55 seconds left to play in the first half, the 49ers are back in it. Falcons 17, San Francisco 10. They move 10 yards in seven plays to score, and now it's going to be Matt Barr kicking it off. Reggie Smith is center deep. It's going to be a line drive. Geisen lets it go to Smith. It goes by him. It'll still be a touchback. Down to Denny ends on first and 10 at the 20-yard line. So now, Atlanta starts it at the 20. Roberto Duran in the comeback now against Luigi and Kilo. And that'll be on Sports Saturday next week, 4.30, 3.30 Central and Pacific time. Should be outstanding. Durand, apparently well on the way back to the stardom that he enjoyed uh, at one time in the boxing circles. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Wallace Francis and a wide left here. Andrews and Kane in the setbacks for Steve Bartkowski. Andrews. To the 22 for two. Dwayne Board made the stop. Second and eight. Well, that field goal that Barr made should give him a big lift. He's a new player in the team. It also puts the 49ers back in this ball game. When you're hit with 17 points in the first quarter, you come back, you're 17 to 10. Now, this series right here, can the defense stop them again? That's the way they, they have to think. We got to give the offense great field position like we did the last series. Second down, eight yards to go. On the ground. Andrew Carey to the 40-yard line. William Andrew. Uh, runs like a small tank and just uh, got across the 50-yard line before Tina Turner bounced him out. Well, last week, 30 yards, I, com I compared Andrews to Jim Taylor. He runs a lot like Jim Taylor. Here's a weak side sweep, and he's got powerful leg drive. Very seldom you see one man bring him down. That's a high tackle. You aren't going to bring him down tackling him high. Look at that leg action, pumping his arms. He protects that football. And you see, he still isn't knocked down, still isn't off balance. He's got 56 yards and seven carries already. Warren Bryant has come out, an offensive tackle, and Eric Sanders has replaced him. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Lynn Kane, the lone setback. Short drop, pop. Lynn Kane. Lynn Kane. 
with a Harper on the tackle. Well, Andrews is a complete football player. He's not a spectacular football player in the sense of a Dorset or somebody like that, but he's a complete football player. And so is that guy, Lindsay, that just caught the ball out there. Here he is lined up as a wide receiver running a hitch. Second down, three yards to go at the 42-yard line. Jackson's in there. Andrews at the 40-yard line. Jim Stuckey on the tackle. We have word about Joel Williams that he has a sprained knee and may return. Well, that's, that's good news because he's a big play guy and they can't afford to lose him. You know, the great thing about this Falcon team is that they can run the football effectively. They can pick up 200 yards running against anybody. They can throw the ball. And you have to have that regardless of the rules. Third and one, Junior Miller, Russ McKeska, and James Mayberry in there now on a tight alignment. They're in a wing right. Try to pick up the one yard. Kane, he's got it. And more. And Kane inside the 20 yard line and down to the 16. Ronnie Lott and Carlin Williamson hanging on. Picked up 22 yards, Lynn Kane. And he's still down there. Well, here it is from the eye formation. Two tight ends. Just a, a, a straight handoff with the fullback leading. Look, at there's two missed tackles. Now he's brought down from behind by two, two tacklers, and he lands on his right shoulder. And he's still down there, and members of the training staff are giving him attention. That is Lynn Kane. Sometimes, Lindsay, when you land on your right shoulder, you can get a sh shoulder separation. Ball has been spotted at the 19-yard line. Kane is up the lead. He looks okay. Lynn Kane along the sideline, apparently all right. He's raced eight times, 46 yards. Ray Strong is in there just now. At the running back along with William Andrews. Ball is spotted at the 19-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Atlanta Falcons. The clock says 6 minutes, 16 seconds left to play in the first half. That's a rushing yardage, 104 to 31. Well, Lindsey, Kane will play if Kane is able. <laughs> How's that? Out of four. Running backs are evened up. Artkowski into the end zone. Now Junior Miller can't reach it. He was open. Ran a corner pattern. He was wide open. Good call. Had the defense beaten. Should have had that. This was a touchdown. End zone shot. Ran a corner pattern. Right on the fingertips. Right there. Should have had that. Ten. Lindsay got a report that Warren Bryant has a pull hamstring. Don't know whether he'll return. That's at the right tackle offensively. Eric Sanders in there at the moment. Here's the second and 10 at the 19-yard line. Strong and Andrews in the setbacks. Adkowski pumps. And it's taken down to the 15-yard line. Ronnie Lott covering down there. This is a good play right here. Dumps it off quickly to Andrews. Letting him do it on his own. Safe play. You're not going to be sacked on it. Third and... Lynn Kane comes back on. And comes back off again. Alfred Jackson goes out now. Third and six at the 15. Oh, what a big down this is for the uh, 49ers. They've gotten back in this ball game and time out. Artkowski's called time. He wants to talk it over with Lehman Bennett and the strategy staff. So when play is resumed, we'll have five minutes, three seconds left in the first half, and it'll be third down and six yards to go at the 15-yard line. Artkowski returning to the field now with the play for the third and six at the 15. Coming up at halftime, Jack Whitaker with his legends of the game will be uh, 
talking about and to Willie Davis. Then, of course, Brent and Irv will have all the scores and highlights of the action around the NFL, so stay with us. Incidentally, Alfred Jenkins came into this game having caught passes in 75 consecutive games. Alfred Jenkins has not caught a pass so far. They've got three wide receivers in there, Francis Jackson Jenkins, third and sixth to 15. Markowski, Jenkins, right to the goal, touchdown, Jenkins for the touchdown, dragging Eric Wright into there, so now the little man has caught passes in 76 consecutive games. Well, they've been working on, on number 21, on 21 right. now it's man-for-man -man coverage, one-on-one, -on -one. perfect pass, Beat him to the inside. The 49ers dogged in that play, and actually they dogged Bartkowski from the blind side. Similar to what Green Bay did when they hit him last week. Nick Luckhurst for the conversion, and it's good. Quickly good. And so as they come back now, it is the Atlanta Falcons 24, and the San Francisco 49ers 10, with four minutes, 57 seconds left to play in this period. Now what? Now there's a dog. From the blind side, right there. Watch Bartkowski. Gets hit as he delivers the ball. Here's another angle. 49ers dogging. Bartkowski's got his receiver one on one on right. Perfectly thrown ball. And actually, good coverage by, by right. So, with a score of 24 to 10. Thousand will have Luckers to kick it off from the 35-yard line, and Ronnie Lott is dropped back with Mike Wilson to receive it for the San Francisco 49ers. Lott's 42, Wilson's 85. Beautiful afternoon here in Atlanta, Georgia. Full house. Luckers puts it up. High trajectory kick this time. Lott, two yards deep in the end zone. Goal line five. He's out to the 10, 15. And he's piled up. Well, the 49ers start from deep in their own territory. Blaine Geisen was downfield to make the tackle. And a flag on the play. Now check out the penalty here. Strong is the man who was injured there. Very strong. Penalty's going to be against the 49ers on the run back. For the seven-yard line. Let's see that uh, touchdown catch of Jenkins ties him with Number Jim Mitchell. Number five, Holy on the run back, half the distance to the goal line. First down. Mike Wilson, who's Lott's partner back there, was holding on the run back. So it'll be first and ten at the seven-yard line. Strong is coming off. He's all right. Twenty-four to ten. Falcons lead, 49ers deep in their own territory. Solomon in the wide right. Patton and Cooper in the setback for Montana. Montana from the end zone. Completed it out uh, short of the 15-yard line. Fulton Kuykendall coming in on the tackle. Dwight Clark, the receiver. This shows you why Montana is the quarterback. It's a bootleg pass, a rollout. Now watch him step up, avoid the rush, Get the ball off. Now, he could have been sacked. An immobile quarterback wouldn't have made that play. From what I've seen of Montana, I like him. I think he's going to be a heck of a quarterback. All he's going to do is improve. Second and four at the 14-yard line. Solomon and Clark are the wide receivers. Solomon in motion across. This is Patton. He's got the first down. It's across the 20-yard line to the 22. Lyman White on the tackle. And the 49ers are, are, are doing another thing that we talked about. They're running that football enough and not putting so much pressure on Montana against this good Falcon defense to put the ball up all the time. Cleveland leading Cincinnati 13 nothing. Keep in mind now that next week, these Atlanta Falcons will be playing the Cleveland Browns. Brian Seif against Bartkowski. What an offensive battle that should be. First and 10. 
49ers with the ball at their own 22-yard line. Montana. Threaded at middle. Got it in there across the 25-yard line to Dwight Clark. Fulton Kuykendall made the tackle. Montana sets up real quickly. He gets rid of the ball quickly. He has, he has good reactions. Now, on that last play, he wanted to go deep. Everybody was covered. He hit the short man. Second down and seven yards to go. At the 26. Solomon in a wide right. Goes back to the inside. This is Patton. Ricky Ricardo Patton. Across the 30-yard line. Got the first down. Well, you, you know, Lindsey Patton's a former Falcon. Here it is. Around. Sweep, strong side sweep. Randy Cross, 51, throwing a block. Patton read the block pretty well. Cut it up inside. Good yardage. Tom Pridemore made the tackle. He has a good off-season employment. He's a member of the House of Delegates of, of uh, the state of West Virginia, which is the state they're, legislature. They're mixing their calls just right. They're keeping the defense off balance. Now we have reached the two-minute warning, the automatic timeout, and the two-minute warning. So when play is resumed, it'll be first and ten at the 33-yard line for the 49ers, with Atlanta leading by a score of 24 to 10 here in Atlanta, Georgia. The preceding message was furnished by the National Football League. Time remaining in set two minutes. You know, Lindsey will have a chance now to evaluate Montana in his two-minute drill. He's in position to, to get the two-minute drill going. They start at the 33-yard line in their own territory. Clark goes to a wide left. Mike Wilson coming across to a wide right. Tight end in motion. That's Young. Montana short drop. Gets it out to Patton. Patton goes out of bounds up there at the 46-yard line. Lyman White, who's playing the linebacker in place of Joel Williams, made the tackle with Kenny Johnson. And that's the type of play you want. It's safe, stops the clock, you get out of bounds. And you get the first down. This is a big series for the 40, 49ers to go in at halftime. They could just put three points on the board. They've moved the ball very well. He was in the hole. He's done a heck of a job getting out from his own goal line here. Brady Solomon in there, Mike Wilson out, Dwight Clark and Solomon the wide receiver, Solomon to the right side. Patton and Cooper are the setbacks. Ricky Patton in motion outside right, Joe Montana. Come back here and taken back Clark. It's going to be marked at the 38-yard line, Lyman White and Kenny Johnson on the hit. First and ten. Well, they're giving them good protection. Clock is running. Plenty of time to throw they're ready to go. 1.30 on the clock. I'm down across the draw. Cooper gets it up to the 30-yard line. Pulls in well, all on the tackle. Well, he's in field goal range already. Second and two at the 30. Took a timeout. Stopped the clock. Kemper is flaring a little bit there. We, we talked about a two-minute drill. He looks good, Lindsey. You've seen him plenty of times at Notre Dame. Uh, I like this guy. You know that? I can see why Bill Walsh uh, traded the bird and give the job to Montana. What Montana was in college was primarily a winner. He wasn't as well disciplined as he has become uh, in the pro league. But uh, he was a fellow who could bring you from behind and put some points on the board for you. Well, you know, there are certain quarterbacks in the league that are excellent two-minute quarterbacks. And you have to be. You have to be a good two-minute quarterback if you're going to win because... In the National Football League, you have two extra quarters. You can win a ball game or lose a ball game the way you run a two-minute drill. Each team has two times out remaining as Montana comes back. Ball was finally spotted on the 31-yard line to make it second down and three at the 31. You know, the, the 49ers have averaged 5.4 on first down. And that's one thing that's kept this Falcon defense off balance. 
121 on the clock, which will start on the snap. Hofer's in there with Cooper, Paul Hofer. He's in the slot right. Montana. To Hofer, and he's got it at the 11-yard uh, line. His first, his first big play coming back after the injury, he ran a deep, what we call, skull pattern. He goes down the field and breaks to the outside about 15 yards deep, and he got out of bounds. He did get out of bounds and picked up a couple of yards doing it in the last lurch. It makes it first and goal at the nine. Just inside the 10-yard line. 113 on the clock. Hofer's out. Ricky Patton's in now. Patton and Cooper. Cooper. Got a yard or so. Don Smith, no tackle, made the tackle. Second Boy, they, and go. They took time out and they almost used the full 30 seconds on that play, Lindsay. They were a little bit late getting in on that. The clock was down to two seconds. 105 now remaining as Montana goes over. It'll be second down and goal at the eight yard line. Bill Walsh, the head coach, setting his playlist there. Well, they're, there. they're in great position to come away with at least three points. This has been a tremendous drive. 38, you see there behind Walsh is Johnny Davis, a came from Tampa Bay, a former Alabama fullback. Mike Wilson out to the right side. Meanwhile, the Atlanta Falcons on the field. When Johnny Davis comes in, he's usually the blocker. He leads you to the play. He did that for McKay and Tampa Bay. He's a heck of a blocker, and I think he's going to help this ball club. All right, Montana has received his instruction. Keep in mind that Brent Nerve will be coming up at halftime. Now, Lindsey, he probably received two plays here. He'll call two plays in the huddle, and the snap count will be on whatever, say, say it's on two or one or sound, it'll be on that same same snap count. Keep in mind at halftime, Jack Whitaker will be along with his legends also. Lead it. All right. Second down and goal to go. Clock starts on the snap, 105. Montana. Ready to tie. Loads of time. Montana's going to hit the time and stop the clock. He couldn't find anybody. Clock is wound down to 56 seconds. Well, there's a Falcon down on the field. It's Joe, Jeff Merrill. Jeff Merrill. Jeff Merrill. Boy, what a, what a gutsy football player he is. Tough as nails. Wilson Formino has replaced him. Well, you know what happened on that play? The 49ers kept seven men in the block. Both backs stayed in the block. That's why Montana had a lot of time, but nobody was open. So he did the right thing. Rather than putting it up for grabs and risking an interception, he got out of bounds, stopped the clock. Lyman White has come off, and Jim Lachlan has replaced him now. be third down and goal to go with 56 seconds remaining to be played in the first half and Atlanta leading 24 to 10 49 is trying to get something on the scoreboard before the halftime intermission and Clark and Solomon double to the left side Solomon in motion Montana Outside the five yard line, as he marked, I think, near the seven. Lachlan coming in to make the hit. Well, the Falcon Time defense out. played that smart, very smartly. They laid off, they gave him the underneath, kept him out of the end zone, forced him to throw in front of him. 49ers have used their last timeout. Here it is from the end zone. 40. The 49ers want to go to the end zone. The defense laid off, kept the receiver in front of them. No chance. Good coverage. Fourth down. 
Ball is spotted outside the six-yard line, fourth and goal, and uh, the 49ers have used their last timeout. So they are sending Matt Barr on, the field goal man. Box says 46 seconds. So they have elected to go for the field goal here on fourth down. Montana will hold, and this will be a 24-yard attempt. That far as kick it dropped. Blocked by Butler. Bobby Butler came in and blocked the kick. Well, Butler did that with his speed and quickness and taking the right angle. That's, that is not Matt Barr's fault. That's the blocking. Butler came from the outside and knifed down. Beautiful execution on his part. Individual effort. Here it is. Now watch the left of your screen. Watch Butler keep coming and knife down. He was right in there. Not Matt Barr's fault at all. Here, here's another angle. He laid out. That's the other thing you have to do. You have to take off and lay out. Ball goes over at the 20-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for Atlanta. Now, the, all that great work in that two-minute drill is wasted and down the drain because of a block kick. Now the ball is picked up. It had been spotted at the 20 and is being marked where it went out of bounds, which is proper, and it's at the 11-yard line. Went out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Therefore, it is not a touchback. They snapped the ball on about the 11-yard line. First down. Okay, there's Bar's explanation, and so Falcons get it first and 10 at the 11-yard line. 41 seconds on the clock. Miller and McKeska, the tight end. Andrews to the 17. Bobby Leopold on the tackle. Andrews was hit behind the line. He kept those legs driving. Picked up four yards. Word is that Mero has a full hamstring and will not be back. Second and four. They're letting it run down. It's down to eight seconds, seven seconds. They're going to let it run on off. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. And that is that. As the teams head for the locker rooms and the halftime intermission in the sunshine of Atlanta Fulton County Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Where the Falcons are leading by a score of 24 to 10. This is Lindsey Nelson with George Allen here in Atlanta, and we're about set to go with the second half of today's game. It's going to be the Atlanta Falcons kicking off. Bartkowski is warming up along the sidelines, as Luckhurst will be doing the kicking off, and he's teeing the ball up there on the 35-yard line. He's a left footer. Ronnie Lott and Mike Wilson have dropped back deep to field it for the San Francisco. Sails it downfield and is taken at the five yard line. Return to the 25 yard line. Run back by Ring, Bill Ring, who was just signed on this week for the 49ers. I like the way he ran, he ran hard. A Falcon getting attention from the training staff. Well, well, Lindsay, we've had some injury. Jeff Murrow went out with a pull hamstring. Williams uh, is having x-rays. Roberto Duran coming back now with a fight against Luigi Minkilo. And that'll be on Sports Saturday next week, 4.30, 3.30 Central and Pacific, and Pacific Time. Duran, of course, has been looking good in his comeback efforts. So tune in next week. Bobby Butler, he's all right. Well, that's good to see. Plays the left corner defensively. 
that's the disadvantage of using your regular corner on covering kicks, covering kickoffs. First and 10, the ball is outside the 26-yard line. Earl Jones playing the corner now with Butler off the field. Montana going on first down and completes to Clark. Dwight Clark gets it up across the 45-yard line. Kenny Johnson on that corner, but the 49ers have come out throwing and they moved it up near midfield. Well, the first half, Montana mixed up first and 10 real well. He had five, uh, five runs and, and nine passes. Now, that's a good ratio, especially for him, for the 49ers. Montana brings him up first and 10 at the 47. Butler's back in there on the right, on the left corner. Quick pitch taken by Cooper. Got across the midfield marker and drove it down near the 45-yard line. Now, Pridemore made the tackle. Well, you know, Lindsay, when you're behind and you receive the kickoff, you got to take the ball down the field, put some points on the board. That first series is so important on offense when you're behind the second half. Second and three. 49ers ball at the Atlanta 45-yard line. Patton trying to pick his way, and he got a couple. 43-yard line. Fulton Kuykendall made the tackle. You know, last week when Fulton Kuykendall intercepted a Green Bay pass and ran it into the end zone, it was his first interception as a pro, and he's been in the pro seven years. He didn't have any in college. It was his first interception as a linebacker since high school. That's like uh, a guy getting his first hit, and it's a grand slam <laughs> home run. You're right. Yeah. Third and one. At the 43-yard line. 49ers are trying to keep their drive alive here. The fans are trying to exhort the defense of the Falcons. Montana rolling and looking, and there's nobody. Now he throws, and it is taken inside the 40-yard line. By Mon Brian Peets, a tight end. Montana did that on his own. The Falcons covered that perfectly. Montana had to give ground, give a lot of depth. He couldn't run with the ball. And he threw it sidearm to pick up the first down. Heck of a play by Montana. Just short of the 38-yard line, first and 10, 49ers in Falcon territory. Falcons are leading 24 to 10. Solomon in a wide left. Right Clark in a wide right. Solomon in motion back to the inside. Montana to Patton. Side slips one, but loses a yard. Second and 11 at the 39. Well. Oh, flags all over the place. It's Bobby Butler and Dwight Clark. So it'll take a little while to gather up all the flags. George, while they do that, I've been hearing rumors all over. Let's hear the referee's report first. We have personal foul. 87 offense. Clark. Personal foul, number 27 defense. Unnecessary roughness in both cases. After the down. It occurred after the down. The down counts. It is second down. Second down. So, you heard the explanation. George, I've been hearing rumors from press men everywhere asking me, is George Allen going to be a head coach in the NFL next year, next week, later this afternoon? What about it? Lindsay, they're, they're all rumors. There's, there's nothing to it. I'm going to be with you in the booth. I can't make the money I'm making up here with CBS. <laughs> okay. Here's a reverse, and Solomon's got the ball. Solomon on the reverse. And he goes out of bounds just short of the 30-yard line. Jenny Johnson ran him out. That's a good call in this area of the field. The reason this is a good call, this is a double re reverse, is that the Falcon linebackers are so active and they pursue so quickly you have to keep them honest with some sort of a reverse and this is a good time good area of the field to use it well we're back to third down it's third and three at the 31 yard line Solomon and Clark double to the left side Solomon in motion across Montana green left 
Patton. Well, did he get to the sticks? Now, he got very close. Curry made the stop. Depends on where they spot it, Lindsay. He dove for it. See, that's that possession type of passion. Throw the ball behind the line. One man screen. Going for the first down. First down. You know, Lindsay, in the booth next to us is Eddie DiBartolo, the owner of the 49ers. And he's been a big supporter of the St. Jude Hospital with Danny Thomas. Just, uh, he's done a tremendous job for the St. Jude Hospital. And there he is in the center of your screen, right there. A very worthy cause, and he's doing everything he can to get this 49er team on the winning track. First down, 10 yards to go, short of the 28-yard line. Montana has it, and it's complete, taken by Young. Charlie Young at the 10-yard line. Lachlan and Pridemore made the stop. Well, play action pass to Charlie Young coming over the middle. Here it is. Gives him the time to throw, and he guns it right into the Boy, midsection. Baby. Charlie Young gives him a big target, picks up five yards after the catch. First and 10 at the 10-yard line of the 49ers driving. Trailing by 14 points. Patton and Beasley are the running backs now. Just Patton. Got about a foot. Yates made oh, the stop. Boy, Jeff Yates. Jeff Yates plays the run so well. Yates and Murrow are, are two tough defensive ends. Uh, the type of players I always like to have. Yates came off of the block and really put the wood to Patton. Second and 10 at the 10. This is a big, big series for the 49ers. They've taken that ball, first series on offense. Solomon's come out. Mike Wilson has come in. He's in a wide right. A quick draw, quick draw, Lindsay, which is a pretty good call. Cooper Karen. There it is. Quick draw to the fullback. That was his second play of the game. Falcons read it real well. The underneath, the short passing game is tough right in here. The Falcons play that real well. You have less area, less field to, to work. Third and six outside the six. about the short passing game down in here is difficult to complete. The ball is overthrown to Brightmore. And on this play, good blocking, somebody tackled Montana. Somebody tackled Montana so he couldn't get up. Brightmore had a waltz. 101 yards is the official yard is on the return. Lucker. Boots it up, and it's good. Well, it is the Falcons who have scored first. Coming back up the field, they have extended their lead now. Falcons 31, and the 49ers 10. Tom Pridemore with a 101-yard interception return. That is a new Falcon record. The old record was 90 yards. George, what a run back. Well, here's Montana. The ball is overthrown a little bit. Little hide. It's intended for Charlie Young. Brightmore is right there. I just mentioned that it's difficult to throw that possession type of passing down the goal line. Actually, he didn't need any blocking. Somebody tackled 
Montana, so he couldn't get out and, and make the play. 101 yards. And now it is the kickoff by Luckers. Bill Ring is dropped back there with Mike Wilson to receive it for the 49ers. Ring lets it go, and it goes across the end line, and we put in play first and 10 at the 20-yard line. A little mix-up between Wilson and Ring, no run back. Luckers sent it deep again. Well, they have to they have to communicate, Lindsay. It's like two outfielders going for a ball. One has to keep calling the other one off. And on that play, they, uh, it looked like neither one of them called the other guy off. You know, that's a that's two drives now that Montana has put together. The one before the half where the field goal was blocked and this interception. Two beautiful drives, both gone for nothing. Bryce is in at the 20. Solomon and Schumann now the wide receiver. Linville Elliott is carrying. Linville Elliott in the other running back. Got one or two. Buddy Curry made the stop. Tonight on CBS starts with 60 minutes. Then Archie Bunker's place. One day at a time. Alex, the Jeffersons, and then Trapper John M.D. all on CBS tonight. You know, this score of 31 to 10 is a deceiving score. The 49ers are playing much better football in this. They've been making mistakes. Screen left, Cooper. Fumble at the last moment, but I think they retain possession and they do. Kenny Johnson made the tackle. They have been actually, Lindsay, beating themselves with the mistakes they're making. But they're moving the ball. I like Montana. The more I see of Montana, the more I think he's going to develop into an excellent quarterback. He's had everything going against him today. Cleveland 13, Cincinnati 3 in the third quarter. Next week, the Atlanta Falcons and the Cleveland Browns. And that one is really shaping up. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Walt Easley, Bob Blaisbrook, then on the tackle. Then a four, it'll be second down and six yards to go. We have eight minutes, 19 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter. The Falcons are leading it by a score of 31 to 10. 49ers in possession. And Solomon to a wide right. Linville Elliott and Walt Easley are the setbacks. Elliott in motion outside left. Montana with the ball. And going long to Solomon. And Bobby Butler. The rookie cornerback from Florida State is getting a hat. Yeah. Well, here's a isolation on Butler running stride for stride and watch him come up and time it perfectly knock it away with his left hand now the ball could have been thrown a little longer Solomon had some leg room to stretch out great play by Bobby Butler third down and 10 yards to go I got it Wilson, Wilson tried to run with the ball before he had it. And it's for the Falcon defense coming off the field. As the 49ers running unit has come on. Reggie Smith has dropped back to field the punt. Jim Miller. Barefoot kicker. High trajectory kick. Smith at the 18. Super net. Moved it to the 27. A punt of 47 yards returned six. You know what he does well, Lindsay? He uses his blockers. He sets it up, cuts inside. Last week, he didn't have to. He saw the daylight and went to the two-yard line.
Atlanta leading the San Francisco 49ers by a score of 31 to 10 with 7 minutes 35 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Bill McCall's in there to linebacker in half of the 49ers. McKeska's in at the tight end for Atlanta, and this is William Andrews carrying. Well, McCall's been a big play guy, a big uh, pinch hitter for him. When he comes in there, they usually dog him, and he's, he's been very effective. Again, of about a yard on the play, there's McCall, number 53. He's a dedicated guy and a lot of hustle. Gives you everything he has and more. He comes from a pretty good football family. He sure does. His, his father, his, his brother, they've all, all been competitive. Second down play coming down for the Atlanta Falcons. Damon Andrews, set back. Kane short of the 30 yard line. Well, I see Kane's back in there, Lindsay, so I'm going to repeat what I said. Kane, will, Kane will play if Kane is able. <laughs> Kane is able. Jack Reynolds trying to make the tackle. Sure, you're not going to take the coaching job, George. <laughs> <laughs> After that one. <laughs> Third down play coming. Dan has come out, Jackson in, three wide receivers for the Atlanta Falcons. Barkowski. Well, the penalty mark is from Junior Miller with the intended receiver. And Keena Turner was sort of mixed up with him there. Well, it looked like a good play by Keena Turner to me. It's a similar type of play that the 49ers tried to Defense, score on. Number 58, first down. That is an automatic first down. Tina Turner, second-year man from Purdue. There it is. It's an underneath pattern, similar type of play the 49ers tried to Charlie Young. I guess, to me, it looks like a good defensive play. There's probably some contact we can't see there. First down play coming. Dan is back in there. Markowski's played all the way. Miller in motion outside, back off the spotlight. Going long, and Alfred Jenkins is right there. Little Alfred Jenkins gets up, nobody touched him, and Alfred goes to the one yard line. He's down at the one yard line. Running lock finally made the stop. Pull him up, Alfred. Well, 67 yards on the play. They've been going deep on right, one on one. Here's Alfred Jenkins. The ball is overthrown, and he makes a diving catch. Now, one thing Wright doesn't realize yet as a rookie, he's in pro football. You've got to get on that guy. He can get up and score. Yes, see, if you tag him, it's all right. Yeah, see, Wright walked away from him as if he were down. So they got the ball in too short of the goal line. They got a game. Andrews and the Devils in, and the Mayberry in there as well. Triple tight end. Kane. No sign. That was a great catch by Alfred Jenkins. He caught that ball going down. Second and goal. Linebackers, Reynolds, and Bunch converging on the last tackle. Ahead of Kane in the I formation. Kane. Got a signal. Didn't make yeah. it. Yeah. This is what you want to do when you get down the goal line. You want to go over the top. It's a lead play. The fullback leading Kane carrying and tries to go over the top. But the 49ers met it. They got down low, submarine, linebackers. Mullen Reynolds was up there. Yeah, linebackers coming over, hitting them high. Third down and goal to go. Out of formation. Probably run the same play. Andrews ahead of Kane. Kane. 
didn't get there that time. Reynolds got there first. They did. They ran the same play. Fourth down, and here comes the field goal again. Nick Lucker is coming on. John James will hold for it. Now, here's the thing I talked about before. These are the field goals that Luckhurst has to make. There's a rookie kicker, powerful leg. These are chip shots. Let's watch them. It's about a 19-yarder, maybe 18. Right in the middle. It's good. So three more points for the Atlanta Falcons. Clock says four minutes, four seconds left in the third quarter. The Atlanta Falcons 34, 49 is 10. The return of Tommy Kramer, and it's making all the difference in the world this afternoon for the Minnesota Vikings. He'd already passed for one TD. He hits Ted Brown, a 59-yard pass run touchdown. At the time, the Vikes were up by three. They push it, but they missed the extra point. It's now 23-14. Back to Lindsey Nelson. Kickoff now by McLuckers. It's Ring and Wilson deep to receive it for the 49ers. Luckers to left footer. Goes short. Wilson at the seven yard line. He's 10 to 15, 20 25. Gets it out to the 29 yard line before he is stopped by Earl Jones. Luckers is not kicking off as well as he did the last game, Lindsay. You know, uh, the way Bartkowski's game plan has gone it couldn't be better for him. The first half, he ran the ball nine times, threw the ball six times. He's been in the driver's seat all the way. They don't have to take any chances with him and ex expose him to an injury. Montana brings the 49ers up. A lone setback. Montana to Cooper and Earl Cooper up the sideline goes out of bounds. At the 38-yard line, he is run out by Jim Laughlin. You know, that 49er defense stuck in and made a nice goal line stand there, Lindsey. They did. You know that? Second down and one yard to go at the 38 for the 49ers. On many of these stations, at the conclusion of the telecast of this game, you'll see New Orleans and the New York Giants this afternoon. Gates has come out, and Teague has come in defensively. Just easily carried. Well, he's looking for a place to lunge and get that yard, and I think he got it. You know, the, uh, made the tackle. let's see, the uh, Falcons just brought in 72 Teague. He could develop into a good pass rusher. Now he's coming out, and Jeff Yates is going back in again. First down and 10 yards to go. Montana waiting for the snap. Has the draw flat. Easily carrying. Gets across the 45. Tom Pridemore made the tackle. Easily looks like a pretty good, tough inside runner. I question how, how effective he'll be outside, but he runs hard inside. Receiver Solomon coming to the right side, Wilson to the left side. Second down, four yards to go on the 46 yard line. I down a short drop, popped it, and it's complete. Well, you know, Lindsay, Montana has played well enough today to have about 30 points on the board. He's like he's like a baseball team that has five guys thrown out at home plate. Every time he gets down there inside of the 10, something happens. Now, with, with Montana and their passing game, they can still rally and do what the Falcons did last week against Green Bay. He hit Mike Wilson with that last pass. The tackle made by Fulton Kuykendall. Make it first and 10 at the 38-yard line. Loosen up Cooper. Drive to the right. Up to the outside to Clark. Right Clark. At the 35-yard line. 
Hit by Earl Jones on that corner. <laughs> and, and you see, inversely, the Falcon defense can play pass 90% of the time. Later today in New Orleans at the New York Giants or the Green Bay Packers and the Los Angeles Rams. Two good games there. Green Bay's defense is playing good football. Second down, six yards to go at the 35. That, that's that quick draw again on second down to the fullback. Even though you don't make many yards on it, they still have to respect it. Buddy Curry made the tackle, and it's going to bring up a third and one. As Curry. Curry's looking to the sidelines for the signals. They relay all the signals into Buddy Curry. Linebacker from the University of North Carolina. We've got Mayberry in there now. In the wing left. Third and short. Going to go to the air. Swing it out, and Cooper can't hold on. Makes it fourth and one. Kuykendall out there. Now for an NFL Today report, let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. All right, Lindsay, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were looking for Walter Payton. They led the Chicago Bears 7-0, but instead they gave it to Matsui. Payton with the lead block. Hans Nielsen's extra point is tied it up at 7. Let's go back now to Lindsay Nelson and a city in fire. Atlanta. Matsui is scoring that touchdown for the Bears. There it is, fourth down on the yard to go, and the 49ers figure they got to go. Patton shot it, but the ball goes over on down. Bobby Butler, the quarterback, upsetting Patton, and it's over first and ten at the 34-yard line. Now, they threw, they threw on third and one and ran on fourth and one. Falcons penetrated. Falcons penetrated, got across the line of scrimmage. Patton had no chance on the play. Bobby Butler. Late in the third quarter here now. 34 to 10. The Falcons are out front and they have the football. Milt McCall's in there defensively for the 49ers. Markowski handing it off to William Andrews. And Andrews drives up to the 40-yard line. Picks you, up six. Lindsay, you can see why Andrews came into this game with a 4.7 yards per try rushing. And the, and one of the things, gee, Pittsburgh, 31 to 3. Both those clubs came in 0 and 2. The loser is out of it pretty much. But Andrews, the next time we see Andrews carry the ball, he has two hands on that football. And that's something I like to see. Francis has come out. Alfred Jackson is coming to the ballgame now. He's wide to the left side. For the Atlanta Falcons. Barkowski. And a diving catch. Well, taken by Jackson and hit by Eric Wright. Yeah, there's, they've been working on Wright most of the game over there. Trying to get a one-on-one. -on -one and, and Wright's laying off pretty deep. And so there's the gun front of sounding the end of the third quarter. And the score is 34 to 10. Ready, ready to start the fourth quarter. This is Lindsey Nelson with George Allen in Atlanta. You know, Lindsey, this is again a perfect game for Bartkowski. Later today in New Orleans at the New York Giants or the Green Bay Packers at the Los Angeles Rams. That New Orleans Giants game, I think that's a toss-up. All right, Bartkowski still in the ballgame. He's been in all the way. That's Jackson across first and ten. Bartkowski going deep. Incomplete to Jackson. Eric Wright uh, covering Jackson, just trying to hold on. Well, uh, Eric Wright was beaten badly on that. He's behind him by five yards. Just a matter of catching the ball. Yeah. 
Jackson has come off now, and Wallace Francis has replaced him. When they're picking on one of your defensive backs like that, you usually have to give them some help. Reese has come off, and Kugler's coming at the nose tackle for the 49ers. Markowski waiting for the snap. Up. Goes the screen. Andrews. 40 35. Inside the 30 yard line. Well, there's a flag on the, on the field, Lindsay. And, and the reason that works so well is that the 49ers dog. 49ers came in with at least a six man rush. Holding against the Falcons. George, we're in the fourth quarter. The Falcons are leading 34 to 10. Uh, the quarterback, Markowski, came into this game wearing a flak jacket. Wouldn't you think we might see him get a little rest somewhere along the way? I would think so, Lindsey. We were talking about that. It would be good uh, good work for June Jones. He hasn't played. 57 offense, holding, still second hand. Jeff Van Note. All they got to do is really run the football now and keep the clock going. They were a little concerned, of course. Morosky went out last week with a collarbone and... Uh, with Bartkowski with a cracked rib, they had Blaine Geisen, who was a college quarterback in Hawaii, taking some snaps and getting used to the cadence uh, during the week, just in case. Three wide receivers in there for the Atlanta Falcons. Second and 20 on the 43. Bartkowski going long to Jenkins and incomplete. That was Eric Wright, 21. And now for an NFL Today report, let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. All right, Lindsay, watch number 20, Billy Sims, as they come up. It's second and goal for the Detroit Lions. They trail Minnesota. It's 23-14 right now. Here comes Sims over the top. He had the ball. Danielson already scored. Extra point is good, 23-21. Back now to Lindsay Nelson. Ah, well, that's one way to do it. You know, uh, Lindsay, on that last play, the 49ers did just what we talked about. They gave right help, some help. They doubled up. The wide receiver front and back. All right, it is third and 20 on the 43. Three wide receivers in there. Barkowski. Well, not this time. That'll bring on the punt unit. Led by John James. Wayne Board was the man who got to the quarterback. That's what you don't like to see when you have sore ribs. If you ever broke your ribs, Boy, they're painful. No matter if you have a flag jacket on or not. Running unit is in there. Solomon and Hicks are the deep men. Mark Koski's coming off like he's he's feeling that. He's just trying to adjust that flag jacket a little too. I think he felt it. James with the punt. Solomon. 28-29. First and 10. Official stopped again. We'll return to Atlanta Fulton County Stadium after this word from your local station. Has been sponsored by... Mercedes-Benz, engineered like no other car in the world. Natural light beer, brewed with only natural ingredients for a clean, refreshing taste. And by Goodyear, makers of Arriva, even its footprint tells you it's different. Bobby Butler. Ready, Solomon, Mike Schumann to the wide receivers at Cooper in motion outside right, Montana with the ball. Incomplete, almost intercepted by Glazebrook. Well, you know, Lindsay, you mentioned Earl Jones. Now, Earl Jones has natural speed. He has much more speed than Kenny Johnson. And he has a chance to be a good defensive back. Now, Bartkowski got sacked the last play. I wouldn't be surprised if they take him out pretty soon. Uh, Earl Jones, number 20, could develop into a fine corner. And this is, this is smart to give him some, some experience where you got the game under control. 
Wilson to the left side, Solomon to the right side. Second and ten. Montana. Our this one complete. Kuykendall made the tackle on Dwight Clark. Montana's kind of limping there a little bit. Picked up about five yards on that completion. Well, this Washington was favored in that ball game, Lindsay. They've, they've handled St. Louis over the years pretty good. Linville Elliott and Earl Cooper are the setbacks now for Montana. Clark got nine passes for 77 yards. Linville Elliott. Penalty marker goes up. He stopped at 35. Kuykendall on the tackle. Well, it's pretty hard to sweep this defense, this Falcon defense, unless you have a lot of speed to turn the corner. Their linebackers move laterally, play the sweep real well. Penalty's got to be against holding. Down is holding. 86 offense, penalty refused, fourth down. Charlie Young. Fourth down, punting unit comes out. Jim Miller, the barefoot boy, comes out to put it. William Andrews, he's rushed 11 times for 71 yards. The complete football player in my book. Scott Warner is dropping back to receive the punt. Warner from the University of Georgia. High spiraling kick by Miller. Has Warner back to the nine yard line. Stop short of the 20. I think Warner can develop Leopold. into a player. He made a good play last week in Green Bay. Leopold made that stop. Punt of 56 yards, returned eight. So now the Atlanta Falcons get the ball. They get it deep in their own territory at the 18-yard line. Later today in New Orleans at the New York Giants or the Green Bay Packers at Los Angeles. Lindsay, the Rams have too good a personnel to be 0-2. They have to get their act together. Whatever problems they have, they have to forget about it. They have to win today. The Falcons are going to be 3-0 and and have a three-game lead out of them. In so the Western Division, you're right. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Give it on down to Andrew. Just keeps coming. First and ten. Carlton Williamson brought him down. I tell you, that guy is the closest thing to Jim Taylor. You fans that have watched the, the great fullback of the Packers, Jim Taylor, he reminds me of him. The body lean, the good leg drive. You see, he had two hands on the ball to protect it first. Now, look, he's going forward. He's breaking tackles. He's keeping those legs pumping. He's got great leverage. Now he's twisting and fighting for another foot or so. And the ball game is 34 to 10. That's the type of competitor he is. He's picked up 84 yards today. Robinson's carrying. Bo Robinson picked up from the Detroit Lions. Got across the 35-yard line. Milt McCall made the tackle. Well, they're doing the smart thing now. Keep the ball on the ground. Keep the clock running. You've got enough points. Tonight on CBS, 60 minutes. And on Alice, Mel goes to Vegas and gets taken to the cleaners. And then on the Jefferson, Florence gets a job she can't refuse, but can she live up to it? It's all tonight on CBS. Andrews just came out. They took him out, giving him a rest. Second and five at the 37. Mayberry and Robinson are in there. Robinson, out to the 40-yard line. You know, Lindsay, when Mayberry has played number 39, he's done a good job, but it's pretty hard to get him in there with a guy like Andrews. Now, he just threw a real good block on uh, 58, Keena Turner. That's Mayberry. Third-year man from Colorado. He's a 210-pounder. These Falcons are trying to do something here this afternoon that no Falcon football team has done in the history of the franchise, and that is win their first three games to start a season. There were many experts before the season started who thought that the Falcons might have the best football team in the league, and they might. 
Third down and two yards to go at the 40-yard line. Quick pitch. Robinson. Nothing. Wright Hicks coming up on the stop. Wright Hicks, the only veteran in that deep defense for the 49ers. He's from the University of Michigan. John James coming out to do the punting now for Atlanta. Well, you know, Lindsay, the reason the, the 49ers haven't returned the, the punts much today is the, the hang time that John James gives the coverage team. He's keeping that ball in the air, 4.6, 4.7. Anybody can can run 40 yards in that in that length of time. Well, let's see what his, his hang time is here. Hicks and Solomon are the deep men to receive the punt. James puts it up. Fair catch signal is up there by Hicks, and he yeah. makes the catch. That's what elevation on a punt will do, force the guy to signal for a fair catch. 38-yard punt. There's no return, so they will start first and 10, and they'll have the ball at the 23-yard line. Steve Bartkowski sitting on the bench. His stats for the day. Did a heck of a job, Lindsay. Here's, here's June Jones, and this is a perfect situation for June Jones to get some experience. Four-year man from Portland State. Those are his career stats. 49ers with the ball first and 10. They have it at their own 23-yard line. Montana's been in all the way for them. Elliott and Cooper are the setbacks. That's out. Linville Elliott. Gets about nine yards before Bolton Kackendall brought him down. Well, you might say, I wonder why he's running the ball that's 34 to 10 in the fourth quarter. Well, the, the Falcons are playing pass rush. Linebackers are dropping back, playing pass defense. So you run a fast trap and you pick up nine yards. It's a good call. Schumann's coming to the game. Dwight Clark has gone out. Mike Schumann, a four-year man from Florida. Second down and a yard to go for the 49ers. Nine minutes, 12 seconds left to play in the game. Atlanta leading by a score of 34 to 10. Cooper. Lost a foot or so. Bormina came in to make the tackle. He's in there in place of Jeff Merrill. You mentioned, no yeah, s sending in uh, easily with a play. You mentioned Schumann. Schumann's a disciplined type of runner. He's, he doesn't have the speed, the blinding speed you want to, to go deep, but he runs good short routes, runs exact routes so the quarterback knows where he is. Lehman Bennett, head coach of the Atlanta Falcons. Cooper, or rather, Easley and Elliott in the setbacks now. Elliott in motion outside. Easley with the ball. Got the first and ten. Well, Easley did something that, that we've been talking about. He He's a good, tough inside runner, and he starts quickly. He's going to help the ball club. I like what I've seen of Easley in the two games. Brad Moore up to make the tackle. First and ten. Outside the 37-yard line. Schumann and Solomon, a double to the right side. Easley and Elliott are the setback. Montana. Solomon. Inside the 40-yard line. Five more of the defenders. First and ten. Well, a, a rollout with play action and flooding the... The left side of the defense. Here it is. Roll out, play action. Solomon running a a corner route. He's wide open. The ball's right in there. Kenny right. Johnson comes back in at the corner. Earl Jones comes off now for the Atlanta Falcons. Leave it on the ground. Brad Moore up on the tackle. See, Kenny Johnson doesn't have the speed, but he has the toughness. And this is a tough game. And he's playing right next to another guy who has toughness, and that's Tom Pridemore. So those two guys work well together. Elliott, who just carried, is going off now. Second and four to 33. Three wide receivers in there for the 49ers. Joe Montana. And it's complete. Wilson takes it. 
just outside the 10-yard line. Kike and all made the tackle. Ike Wilson from Washington State. Well, Wilson, Wilson drove off Kenny Johnson. Here he is, 85. Driving down the field like he's going deep. Puts on the brakes right in front of 37. So he drove him off. Johnson missed the tackle. Pridemore missed the tackle. Now here's where they've been running out of gas. They move that ball once they get inside of the 15, 10-yard line. Johnson comes out. Earl Jones comes in. Solomon and Clark, the wide receiver. They move Cooper over a stride right, loosen him up. Montana. Solomon. Touchdown. Butler, the cornerback. Well, Montana did a heck of a job. He was rushed. It was hit just as he threw the ball. Here it is. They're dogging him. They're coming in like they did before, and he's hit just as he throws a delivery sack. The ball flutters a little bit, but Solomon gathers it in. Inversion attempt coming now. That bar with a tip. Montana will hold for him. Bar's kick. It's good. So seven points on the scoreboard for the San Francisco 49ers. And it is now 34 to 17. So now it'll be the 49ers kick out. Hey, look at this score, George. What happened to the Washington Redskins? That's not the Washington defense I used to know. I, I don't know whether that's the right score on there. Believe me, it's the right <laughs> score. <laughs> Bar kicks it off. Warner's deep. Got Warner chases someone lets it go. Touchback. It's the end line. That'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. First and 10. You know, uh, Lindsey, Montana is 24 for 34, 274 yards, two interceptions, two touchdowns. Now, he's played pretty well today, well enough to be in the ball game this late. June Jones is in the ball game this late. Barkowski. Has had it for the day, and June Jones has come on now. 6'4", 200-pounder, four-year man from Portland State. Quarterbacking the Atlanta Falcons. Comes in here with six minutes, three seconds left to play in the game. Mayberry and Robinson are the setbacks. Robinson. Gets out there for about three. Well, I don't think, Lindsay, I don't think we'll see Juju Jones put it up too much. They've got a nice lead. Why take chances? Keep the clock running. Francis comes off, and Alfred Jackson comes in. You know, Alfred Jackson would be a regular on many teams in the National Football League. He's a, he's a good football player. Here's Jackson coming out of the huddle to a wide right. Second down, seven yards to go. Mayberry. It's up there to about the 28. Pete Kugler in the next attack. Lindsay, I could tell the way Alfred Jackson ran to his flanker position that it was, wasn't a pass. <laughs> he, he doesn't like to be in there late in the ball game. You aren't going to throw him the ball a little bit. Junior Miller and Wallace Francis come into the ball game. As Jackson comes off. McKeska's in there as well in a double tight end. Bill Walsh, head coach of the 49ers. He was on Paul Brown's staff at Cincinnati. He was on Tommy Prothrow's staff at San Diego. June Jones. One for one, Junior Miller. The tight end. Got the first and ten. Right hips made the back. Touchdown this afternoon. Robinson. To the 47-yard line before John Hardy makes the tackle. 
You know, we talked about uh, 89. Wallace Branch is wearing a, a, a black jacket. Any receiver that comes over the middle is just as susceptible to an injury, maybe more so than any other position. And I think it's smart for a receiver to wear a black jacket, protect himself, especially guys that, that really lay themselves out and expose their, their ribs. Second down play coming. Robinson. Got across the 50. Well, by... Call up. Yeah, excuse me, Lindsay. By running sweeps, it takes more time. Later today, New Orleans at the New York Giants. We don't have definite word uh, of his condition, but we understand George Rogers will play for New Orleans. Well, you know... I bet the Saints haven't won two games in a row in quite a while, and the Giants haven't won two games in a row. So both those teams are coming off of victories, Giants and, and New Orleans. Then some stations will be seeing Green Bay at Los Angeles. I like that Green Bay defense. Now, Green Bay, this is the best Green Bay team I've seen in quite a few years. Uh, Dickey's playing better. Lofton, of course, is a home run threat anytime he's in a ball game. That should be a heck of a game. So we've reached the two-minute warning. This is the automatic timeout. It is 34 to 17. The Atlanta Falcons are leading. In the fourth quarter, Cleveland has gone ahead of Cincinnati 20 to 10. And a big 11-yard run by Mike Pruitt to put the score 20 to 10. And next Sunday, these Atlanta Falcons meet those Cleveland Browns. Check your local listings. So apparently both of those teams are on the way to victories, and they get to enjoy the full week before they meet each other. That's the way NFL scheduling goes. Junior Miller and Mike McKeska, double tight end alignment now. Third down and a yard to go at the 48-yard line. They need one. Mayberry carried and got the one, and one more to spare. You know, Lindsay, I'll tell you another thing about Cleveland and, and Atlanta. I saw the Hall of Fame game, and that was a heck of a game, so they're, they're replaying that Hall of Fame game again. First and 10 at the 45, Craig Pookie came in to make the last tackle. As the little man, as Super Nat, he's listed at 5'4". We said earlier 5'6". There's some who say 5'3". I don't know. He's not very big. I think he's under 5'4". <laughs> First down, 10 yards to go. Mayberry. This is what you do on a two-minute drill when you have the game one. I've never seen a guy listed 5-4 when he was 5-6. <laughs> I've seen him listed 5-4 and they're 5-3 and 5-2. Yes. <laughs> Second and seven at the 42-yard line. Our thanks to Joel Alterman for the stats this afternoon. And, of course, Bruce Allen is our man here in the booth keeping track of personnel and whatnot. 30 seconds left to play in this game. June Jones takes it and just hits the deck. So the clock is running. It is down now to 18 seconds, and apparently nobody has any inclination to stop it. As the Atlanta Falcons lead 34 to 17, and we now have 10 seconds left on the clock. There'll be no timeouts taken. They're doing the visiting. How are you, and how are the folks back home, and when did you see Sally last? And that's all taking place now. Bill Walsh heading for the locker room, and there is the gun. So this game has ended here in Atlanta. Falcons were out in front early. The 49ers battled back in the second quarter. Then it was the Falcons again in the second half. As they maintained that lead, piled it up, and won the game by a final score of Atlanta 34 and San Francisco 17.